Delphi Diagnostics, Smart Technology, Smart Repairs. In this video, we're going to walk through a demonstration of the Delphi Diagnostic Scan Tool. To begin, we'll click on the Engine Start button. Then, click on Vehicle. From this screen, you can select the make of the vehicle to be scanned. For this demo, we'll select the History menu option, which provides fast access to previously scanned vehicles. Once you click into History, you'll see the previous 16 vehicles you have selected and scanned. This becomes very helpful if more than one technician is using the tool by making it faster to switch back and forth between multiple vehicles that may be in your shop for service at any given time. Once you select and are connected to a vehicle, the scan tool will identify most vehicles through the ECM and automatically display the VIN and other vehicle information. There is no need to manually input any vehicle identification data other than the make. This screen shows the systems that can be scanned on the vehicle we've selected. With Delphi, just one software subscription includes all of the available systems on a vehicle. That means no separate software is needed to diagnose ABS, airbags, or any other vehicle system. For this demo, we'll click on Powertrain. Once in the Powertrain menu, the screen lists the functions and tests that are available for the Powertrain Control Module. It is important to note that all the data and tests in the Delphi Scan Tool are OE. There's no reverse engineering. Let's start with Data List Display. The data list can be filtered down by system if desired. By clicking All Data, the tool will display the entire data stream. Once in the All Data mode, you can see the number of parameter IDs, or PIDs, that are available in the lower right corner of the screen. Typically, you do not need to view all the PIDs at one time. So to speed up the data refresh rate, you can click to highlight just the PIDs that you want to view. Then click Select to turn off all the other data parameters. Clicking the Gauges icon will display the data in a large, easy-to-view analog gauge type format. Clicking on the Enlarge icon will display the live data in a large, digital mode. This screen also displays minimum, average, and maximum values. This makes it very easy to capture intermittent glitches or problems. Clicking on the graph icon will display the digital data in a graph format that allows you to watch for trends and also to capture intermittent glitches or failures. There is also a digital display of the data on the right side of the screen that shows current, minimum, average, and maximum values. Clicking on the multi-trace icon superimposes the graphed data onto a single chart. This is helpful when comparing data for related PIDs, such as CAM position sensor and crank position sensor signals, or engine RPM and throttle position sensor signals. Heading back to the main powertrain menu, let's now take a look at diagnostic trouble codes. From this screen, we can read DTC information, clear DTC information, or view freeze frame and failure records. Let's start with read DTC information. The next menu screen displays several folders that store diagnostic trouble code information. And by selecting Mill Requested, you can view any DTCs that have triggered a check engine light. Now displayed is a list of current diagnostic trouble codes and their descriptions. To get additional information, just click to highlight and select the desired DTC, then click on DTC Info. Once you click for more info, you'll see that the diagnostic test ran and failed, causing the DTC to be stored. Also, the DTC status shows that this code is stored under the history codes, mill requested, last test failed, and failed since code clear reports. And if at any point you want to clear DTCs, just click on Clear DTC Information. You'll get this prompt, which ensures you want to clear the DTCs before the system takes action. Now, let's look at freeze frame. Freeze frame captures data related to the DTC at the time the failure occurred. This helps duplicate the driving and engine conditions when diagnosing the problem. So, for example, you can tell if the failure occurred at idle, or while driving, cold engine, or warmed engine or any other scenario. 
We are now back to the list of the available functions and tests. OBD tests are commonly known as bidirectional controls, or BIDI. These allow you to send commands to, and control the function of, a variety of vehicle components. Let's click on OBD tests. And remember, all of the OBD tests in Delphi's scan tool are OE, and not reverse engineered. The tabs across the top allow you to select from a variety of bidirectional tests. The highlighted box at the bottom right shows the total number of tests available. We'll click on Engine Speed Control for this demo. From this page, click on Start to begin the bidirectional test. Clicking on one of the filter options will allow you to view a live data stream during the test while monitoring the results for any glitches or anomalies. By clicking on Increase, you can raise the engine speed. The circled box displays the RPMs commanded, and by viewing the data list below, you can confirm if the engine did or did not respond accordingly. Back to the available functions and test screen, we'll now look at the extended onboard monitoring test results. This is commonly referred to as Mode 6. With the Delphi Scan tool, you can access Mode 6 from the vehicle-specific program rather than having to exit all the way back to Global OBD2. Mode 6 allows you to look at the internal vehicle test results performed on sensors and systems to confirm that they are working correctly. This can also be helpful in diagnosing intermittent failures and when confirming repairs. Clicking on any of the test IDs will open a description of that test. Most scan tools only give the test ID without a description, which means you have to waste time looking up that information from another source. The Delphi scan tool provides a description and visual results in green for pass, red for fail, and yellow for borderline pass, which can be helpful in spotting potential or developing problems in the vehicle system. Back to the available functions and test screen. Let's view the PCM update version by clicking on Module Information. This screen shows any software updates and reflashes that are installed on the module. You can determine if a required update to correct a malfunction has been installed or not. Should a reflash be required, J2534 flash capability is included on Delphi Scan Tools. There is no need to disconnect the Delphi tool and install another one to perform the reflash, saving you valuable time. The last item on our list of available functions and tests is Extended Snapshot, which allows the technician to record and view data parameters that are set to begin recording automatically by a DTC being set or triggered manually when an engine performance issue such as a misfire occurs. The recording may be played back in data line format or in graphing format. Back to our systems menu, let's take a look at the DTC health check. This option runs a quick scan of all the available modules on the vehicle. The Delphi difference? You do not have to scan each module separately. Once the scan is complete, the number of modules scanned will be displayed along with the total number of DTCs found for each module. If no DTCs are present in a module, it will be shown in green. Any modules with DTCs will be shown in red. This function can be used as a quick scan for your customer and a report can be printed showing the results. And finally, a quick tip for you. The Delphi logo is at the top left of every screen. Clicking on it will open Delphi's Repair Point program so that you can access any needed additional service information. And as an added bonus, a free six month subscription to Delphi Repair Point is included with the purchase of any Delphi scan tool, providing online, fast, and easy access to vital service information such as capacities, wiring diagrams, and DTC diagnostic flowcharts.